ਆਪਣਾ ਕੀਪੀ ਕੀਪੀ ਤੇ ਕੇ ਕੇ ਆ ਗਾਇਸ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਯੂ ਨਾਟ ਟੇਕਿੰਗ ਰਿੰਕ ਯੂ ਜਸਟ ਗਿਵ ਇਟ ਟੂ ਮੀ ਓ ਆਮ ਸ਼ੋ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਥੈਟ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਸਾਈਨਡ ਅਪ the world's fastest bowler right not here i actually volunteered in the practice day one ball of his would you be able to see the ball i know that's my whole point right so <laughs> earlier major league cricket faced a lot of difficulties but now mlc is back and could you elaborate on how you tackle those difficulties throughout the years mlc is like a startup in a lot of ways even though it was a startup it was a very proven concept thanks to ipl and the other leagues which are out there and i think having um, you know big names associated with the league uh was a big thing and then having the association with the indian ipl teams also brought a lot of credibility so um so it's not like some other sport which is not really known and uh you're starting a league in that um so we have um uh, multiple things happening and with all due respect the the founders um mm. of mlc uh we obviously came in later have done a fantastic job in in how they were able to get the um um the the franchise and how they got the investors and how they were able to get everybody was so truly amazing Pete. that must be quite a journey so uh do you think mlc will revolutionize cricket in usa because uh, we all know that cricket is not that famous in usa so will it revolutionize and get more eyeballs to it um the answer is 100% correct um i think it will um you know you be um uh, obviously you're aware how many people already play cricket in the us um when you go to world cup matches uh, throughout the world there are a lot of people from from you know indian americans um and uh, and uh from other countries living in the us who go there and watch cricket so it's already there it's already in the fabric um uh but you're right that it has to be expanded to other um other people more awareness has to happen and um i think um things like the modi visit was to bring a lot more visibility to india um which is great you know and i think cricket will be a great uh, factor in that also so uh, the competition has six teams four teams are owned by ipl franchise and uh, your team does not hold any experience like the other four teams because they don't come from such uh, huge cricketing background it's, uh, it's a new team which is great so do you feel this is going to give them an upper hand against the washington freedom in any given scenario we have teamed up with new south wales so uh, in in sydney so um, so we have the full backing of uh, the australians uh, in in our team also so So there's this concept called high performance partners and so there are high performance partners so they have been very very engaged so if you look at our um, our um, roster we have quite a few Australians especially from Sydney and Sydney is one of the biggest producers of Australian cricket um you know in in Australia so so we do have a formidable partner also okay Uh so it's the inaugural season and what are your plans for the fans engagement like how are you planning to pull huge numbers because mm-hmm. like right now in IPL as well we have seen uh, BCCI try to engage fan as much as they can so mm-hmm. how do you see like for Washington Freedom itself and for MNC as well what are the plans mm-hmm. to engage fans Yeah so um um obviously the first thing is to have a good product right which we hopefully uh, have um the second thing is have a great experience Uh I think the Dallas Stadium and whatever we're doing in Morrisville are going to be great. So and the third thing now is you know how do you engage the clients? So uh, you know the clients are our spectators are uh, you know the the people who come and watch, you know, we consider them like our clients. And um and 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 making sure that they have a great environment, a great atmosphere when they when they come and watch. Um you know all the experiences which are there uh we have um you know we have a website washingtonfreedom.com um there we have different twitter handles and all that stuff so we we're going to start offering a lot of um uh engagement stuff there um mm-hmm. so the thing is that it's just starting out first year is, is going to be amazing but at the same time it's going to be little um uh you know we we're going to be learning a lot right um uh in a way you're right that um in terms of fan engagement we have a disadvantage over the other IPL teams uh because they already have you know x number of followers which we don't have yeah. so so they definitely we are behind right uh so we have quite a lot of work to do so we have engaged you know PR companies and all that stuff uh we probably never close the gap to be honest right but um but we'll do our part 
in terms of doing that just like uh, as we are mentioning ipl in this uh, uh, interview as well so do you see any such rivalry of uh, washington freedom with any other team which you might be eyeing that this is going to be interesting and counter if uh, washington freedom of freedom plays with this particular team yeah. have you pointed out i think uh, rivalry has developed over time right yeah. uh, right now i think um, everybody has been really really nice i i i'll be honest with you we have team owner meetings and so on so forth everybody has just been we just been in totally lockstep in barrel and everybody has been just very supportive of each other you know we we obviously have as compared to other ipl teams and other people right we have you know certain mm-hmm. handicaps as to where we are but everybody has been extremely gracious and extremely helpful right so so i just want to say that number one number two uh rivalries i'm sure that we're going to start having rivalries right uh i don't know if it's going to is going to be ipl teams versus non ipl teams i don't know if it's going to be east coast versus west coast right um but i think time will tell who are win you know how the rivalries will evolve must be, must be so uh how impactful do you think it will be for the domestic players to play alongside such renowned players in the league already oh i'm sure you know that you know we have signed up the world's fastest bowler right norke and uh I was just watching his videos on YouTube, right? And I mean, some of those—I mean, like those players who were playing in the nets, his bowling, right? Had no clue, right? <laughs> yeah. And um, and uh, I actually volunteered in the practice to play one ball of his, right? So, so I'm gonna play one ball of his because it's always always been my dry, dream to play. Would you be able to see the ball? I know that's my whole point, right? So I, <laughs> I'll tell you after I after I. After I have that ball ball to me, right? So, um, so thing is that um, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting how this whole thing evolves. But, uh, but, but, but um, you know, the players we have, um, a lot of domestic players, as you know, um, have played national cricket, right? Yeah. Uh, for for different countries, right? Um, mm-hmm. uh, some of the domestic players have actually. captain india under 19 right um mm-hmm. so so it's not like that i mean I, I, i'm sure i mean like obviously the the um uh the level which we have in the us is not the same level as international players have it right mm-hmm. but then you do have rinku singhs right who who come in and they would <laughs> bash it around right so hopefully we're going to have some rinku singhs in our team and other yeah. teams domestic yeah <laughs> <laughs> you like fan engagement you don't need any such activity rinku singh would be enough and if you get someone like rinku singh it's yeah. a block but yeah exactly <laughs> i just need rinku singh in my team you know that's why i keep keep the kkr guys you know you're not taking rinku just give it to me <laughs> that's great so yeah. uh now there is uh, so many leagues are happening around the world so do you yeah. think that league can give tough competition to others i think the the biggest thing we have going for us is is the market which the US has right i mean if you look at the sporting dollars you know i'm reading somewhere where 65 70% of the sporting dollars are actually spent in the US right mm-hmm. and in the US there are sports which no other country plays in a big fashion you look at american football if you look at basketball if you look at you know hockey mm-hmm. right um and the chel right um they all us centric sports which are not really exist in other countries so he, us is a huge market so i think yeah. that's what we are playing on is is getting more and more big sponsors right um and uh, who can help us um you know create this league in, league into really big um so we have the population right we're not the same population as india but you know we still have 350 million people in the us um there are a lot of indian americans who are very very And, and of course, you know, I keep saying Indian American because I'm obviously biased as a as an Indian origin person. But there are other countries also. Before I get to trouble, right? So my question is like, baseball is kind of a most popular game in America, and so do you think that this tournament will match the popularity of baseball? Maybe in coming years, in the near future. Yeah. So football is the most powerful, uh, most popular sport. Um, yeah. I think. Um, um, I, I definitely believe yes. Um, So if, I, if if you look at the following, let's let's take the equation and flip it around, right? So what do you need to fill a stadium? You need really ten thousand, fifteen thousand people, right, to fill a stadium. Mm-hmm. That's number one, right? So we keep talking about popularity, right? Popularity is driven by being able to fill out the stadiums, right? Yeah. Fifteen thousand people, twenty thousand people is nothing, right, to fill a stadium, right? So that's number one. 
Number two, how do we get eyeballs, right? Eyeballs are going to be uh, are driven by by the product, right? And the players who are playing in that product, right? Mm-hmm. So we have people from South Africa, we have people from New Zealand, Australia, US, right? Uh, obviously, Indian players are not allowed. Um, England, West Indies, right? All those countries. So we're going to have eyeballs from all those countries, right? We also believe that we could have eyeballs from India, right? Why? Yeah. Because um, there's numerous reasons why, you know, sports sports are growing. Some people love betting. Some people like watching cricket. Some people mm-hmm. have international stars who they idolize and so on and so forth. So there's going to be a lot of indirect reasons why, mm-hmm. you know, uh, Indians will be watching. So um, what is Washington Freedom's USP according to you in this season? I think... Um, our USP is that we are underdog, right? I mean, <laughs> like nobody really, you know, like we're not associated with an IPL team, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, we are Washington, right? So it's not like, I mean, even though it's considered the most powerful city in the world, but it's not New York, it's not LA, it's not San Francisco, it's not, you know, uh, one of those big cities, right? So, um, but um, so I think the USP is that I think we have all the ingredients. Yeah, something secret is going on which no one knows. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So um, Jason Roy has opted out of uh, England's contract for LAKR, mm-hmm. which means MLC is already getting the hype and the attention which it thoroughly deserves. How massive is this step? Because players are opting out of their national contract to mm-hmm. go and. For MLC, how massive is this mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, I, I presume that's a true story. I've, I've read in the papers, right? But let's assume it's true. Um, I think another trend is the following, right? You have so the fact is that there are people who are interested in moving to the US for better lives, right? Uh, so, if you look at the number of players who have actually moved here, right, in the last few years. Um, a number of players who are coming to us who want to move here um, because you know for that reason right I think you're gonna see a big big thing there also where people may be opting out of their national contracts right mm-hmm. but also people who have national contracts giving up those national contracts and moving here because you know, for, for whatever reasons they want to move to the US for, right? Family, better life, whatever it is, right? I don't, I don't want to get into that. So I think you're going to see that trend going up more and more. So there will be a new hashtag, the future is here. <laughs> oh, future has always been India in IPL, but yeah. <laughs> Okay. Since, yeah. uh, since you are you are an Indian, so I'm going to ask you this question: that why you opted for MLC but not IPL or maybe you know any team in IPL you wanted to invest in? Why MLC? Uh, so I've always believed in uh, in um, doing something which which is which is where I can make an impact, right? Uh, if I did something in IPL, um, then I mean there's so many great people in India, right, who have, who have who have done such a great job with IPL, right? There's no value at which I could have provided in India, right? Okay. So, my last question of this entire uh, interview would be, uh, we all know like uh, when we go to a team's ideology from which fans can relate with the team. So, it is very important to understand what kind of ideology a team would come up with. Like in IPL, uh, we know Chennai Super Kings, they uh, go with veterans and young talents as well. Mumbai Indians take young uh, talents and groom them to become veteran within their team. So, Mm -hmm. what kind of ideology Washington Freedoms are going to have and what they are going to follow throughout the years because that might help fans to get connected with them and have, you know, a strong bond. So, we would like to know what are your plan and what is your ideology behind this? Yep. So it's a very, very good point. I mean, it's actually a very super point. Something which I have I have thought through and I, what I want to propagate, but I don't think I have actually put that on paper, right? So so that's something which is my to-do. But I think I always believe in, um, I, I definitely want to have teamwork, right? Because um, that that's very, very important. Number two, uh, respect. Um, you know, uh, we don't want to be known for, you know, that we are sledgers or this or that. So I want to be very, very 
respectful and um, you know, it's a end of the day it's a yes it's a competition but it's more than that right so we don't want to be for the wrong reasons in the, in the news right so i think teamwork is very important um respect is very important and then the the whole thing about client uh, satisfaction right it, it's very very important right so we've got to be a good role model for the company right and that's no different than any business in any business we have you know um you have teamwork right because you have different people who are doing different functions and and all of them have to work together in unison um and then uh respect respect for each other right respect for um you know for everybody right women this that right and then uh and, and the thing is client satisfaction right so so whatever proper propagations we have in our company is what i want to be engaging with the team because we got to you know i really want to promote this among children in the us um and um children are looking for me to make sure that children have good role models right and we want washington freedom to be that that role model